Hello everyone, my name is William Reed O'Carro, my name is, and today is the 20th anniversary of Pokemon. Pokemon has been around since 1996 and has become one of the most popular video game series that Japan has made. The first two games that came out were Pokemon Red and Green, or as it was originally called, Pokemonster Red and Green. Because of, this, of its success, they were able to release a blue version later on, and it too became a success. Due to the popularity and success of the games, Japan would later bring Pokemon Red and Blue to the United States, where its popularity grew even more and it became such a success that people wanted more. To the point that they did! They did make more Pokemon games in all different forms, like the first one I ever got, Pokemon Yellow. Pretty cool, huh? And then of course we have the current one for the 3DS version, this one. <laughs> Different sizes, huh? You guys have come a long way after 20 years. And they all came in different game consoles, like the Game Boy Color. I didn't have the original Game Boy, but I do have this one, which is a little smaller, but as you can tell, the, gra the uh, screen is not exactly that impressive. And of course, we have the 3DS version, which is the current one for the Pokemon games. Again, we have come a long way, haven't we? Yep, even after 20 years, Pokemon is still one of the most popular games that Japan has made. But why is that? How did a game about a young kid that goes out into the world to capture monsters and have them fight against other monsters become so popular and so big, even after 20 years later? Well, let's take a look at the plot of the game. The plot involves a young 10-year-old boy, or girl, depending on the gender you pick, that is asked by a professor to go out into the world and capture wild creatures called Pokemon. You're given a star one and you travel around the region that you're put in while trying to capture every one of these Pokemon that are all different types. There are electric types, there are fire types, water types, rock types, dragon types. Hell, they even made a fairy type Pokemon. No joke. You can look that up. They actually did that. And how each one has a different advantage or disadvantage against the type of Pokemon they go up against. It's like rock, paper, scissors. Where fire beats grass, water beats fire, electric beats water, rock beating electric, and of course, fairy type Pokemon beating a dragon type that has no effect against a fairy type. Seriously, look it up, they actually did that. And anyways, you are trying to capture these Pokemon while also fighting against other trainers, including your rival, who you meet in the beginning of the game, who can either be a nice person or a jerk. Either way. And you also have to go up against gym leaders who have badges that you need to earn in order to go on to face the Elite Four, who you have to beat in order to beat the champion, or like in the original game versions like this one, you have to beat the former champion, and then you have to beat the champion who beat that former champion, while also trying to defeat a criminal organization. All of that for a 10-year-old kid to go up against. Nice, huh? And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much what the plot is all about. For not just this game, for all the other games as well. And I know that sounds like it's easy, but trust me, it's not. Not only do you have to pick the right Pokemon for your team, which are, you can only pick six, since the other Pokemon that you don't pick all go into a computer while trapped inside a small little ball. You also have to level them up as much as you can because you will go up against different strong trainers who have Pokemon that are much have a level that's even higher than yours which means you have to grind a lot of time you have to make your pokemon evolve and help them get stronger so that you can beat these trainers while also trying to solve puzzles that they give you or put you in your way which you have to complete and in order to go on to with your journey and again you have to capture as many pokemon as you can because you know each game version has a diff doesn't have all the pokemon in that one game you have to buy all of them. That's how they get you. And yeah, again, that's pretty much the whole plot of the game. And I know it doesn't sound like it's, you know, wise to reuse the same old plot again. But that's what makes this game fun. It's an adventure game where you play as a young kid that travels around the world trying to capture Pokemon and trying to help level them up so you can fight against other people. It's challenging also because it makes you think. It also has to strategize against anyone you go up against because you never know who you might go up against and what kind of Pokemon they have. 
and you have your team that gets stronger and stronger with each battle, and they can even evolve. Yeah, Pokemon can evolve. They can go from a small, cute little creature to a huge monster that can go up against any Pokemon you go up, put them up against. Even learning new attacks that they can learn as they get stronger and grow, grow even more. For 20 years, this game has always reused the same old plot, but it's still a fun plot that people still love to this day. It may have not changed, but the games have certainly changed. I mean, again, see? They've changed. The graphics has changed. The new systems they add to the games has changed. They in more and more new Pokemon for you to capture and new worlds for you to explore in. And they keep finding ways to keep people hooked on Pokemon. Hell, even now they're releasing two new games called Pokemon Sun and Moon, showing that they will never run out of ideas of Pokemon. Hell, they redid this game version, Pokemon Silver. It was originally for, I think it was for the Game Boy, and yeah, the Game Boy, and it would later go on to Nintendo DS. They re they changed it. The same thing for this one as well, for Pokemon Omega Ruby as well. It was just Pokemon Ruby from the Game Boy Advance, and yet they remade it. So they will always find ways to keep making Pokemon and continue on. In some ways, I'm glad. I may be older, I still love playing the games though. Whether it's old or new, it doesn't matter. I don't care. Because I still love being challenged and trying to capture every one of these Pokemon, even if there are some I can't find. It's the kind of game that kids and adults can play. There are no age restrictions. I'm glad for that because it shows how many people love Pokemon. And it wouldn't surprise me if Pokemon is still around even 10 years later. So yeah, it doesn't matter how much Pokemon has changed or how many people get older. Pokemon is will always be a very popular game for a lot of people. And we will always still love playing it. No matter how much they try to make it change, it's still the same thing. And we love it for it. So Pokemon, congratulations on your 20th anniversary, and I'll be looking forward to seeing what else you guys got up your sleeve. And you guys have a different opinion of Pokemon, or any of the games, or maybe of your favorite Pokemon game, leave some comments below, let me know what you think, and I'll be here next time to give you more love and more entertainment. Take care, see y'all next time, and if you excuse me, it's time for me to catch them all. Bye.